Good afternoon, I'm calling ADC. I am calling about a carbon monoxide alarm. I'm not sure if it's the system or if it's actually detecting carbon monoxide. It's actually pretty serious. I would suggest okay. that you get everyone out the household. Me and my husband have been living in our home for about 20 years. We have had ADT for a long time, since we moved into this house, and we just decided that it was time for an upgrade, and so we called ADT to have them come out and upgrade the system. I told Miss Henry that I was gonna go ahead and switch out her regular smoke detector for a smoke heat and carbon detector. We were like, yeah, sure, let's do it. We just didn't have any sense of how important that was gonna be in saving our lives after he left. As soon as Chuck leaves, about 30 minutes after that, the carbon monoxide detector is going off and it's telling me I need to get to fresh air. My instant thought is that something's wrong with the detector. And then ADT calls. Can you get everyone out the household for the time being so we verify what it is exactly? Just because that is very toxic. Okay, no problem. I called Chuck on three-way. I'm looking at it on my iPad and told her I said it's better to be safe than sorry. So ADT says that they're going to send the fire department. When the fire department gets here, they come in the door, they get a reading that's double what the amount should be for carbon monoxide. And so they turn the gas off to the house and they call MLGW. When MLGW gets here and tells us that the furnace is not burning properly and because of that, it's emitting carbon monoxide. I'm very proud of the ADT dispatcher. He was diligent in calling the fire department even though I was quite adamant about it not being carbon monoxide. I'm Harriet Hardy with ADT. I'm delighted to be here today with the, with the Henry family to honor our first responders and reunite them with Manny Rojas from our Wichita Contact Center and Chuck Novak, our installer from our Memphis office, who helped save their lives. And they will be reunited today for the first time. I am so good. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> when I was younger, I was woken up to the fire department carrying me outside of my house. But I didn't see a fire. They said we have carbon monoxide leak. I carried that experience with me and now the experience here at the Henry House. It's pretty satisfying to know that, that the job matters. I didn't really help save a life. We helped save a life. I've only been with the company for a little bit over two months. I'm honored, I'm inspired. Look what played out from a simple call. And to meet them in person, it's a little emotional. I'm trying not to get emotional here, but it's very, very touching. We just help save people's lives and it's honestly a pleasure to be part of this amazing company. I'm so grateful to ADT for making sure that they did exactly what they were supposed to do and um, the fire department as well and MLGW. Um, I think we, they all worked together to make sure that our lives were saved that day and for our family being able to wake up every morning and be together. Yeah.